So Marvel's Avengers has gone full anthem. Crystal Dynamics has nerfed loot drops before fixing their actual game. Crashing, falling through, and clipping through the map. Frozen progress, no matter how many times I reload a checkpoint. Stupid AI. No ping system. Vomit-worthy screen blur that we cannot adjust. A multiplayer game with no join in progress function. No variety. Imagine a Marvel game with only two villains to fight. With the hundreds of C and D list villains in the universe. Just Taskmaster and Abomination. And they barely work half the time. You know, frozen solid or, or, or spawning behind a door. Can we go to Asgard? Can we go to Wakanda? Can we go to anywhere in space? No. Six heroes at launch. Six heroes. That's okay. Maybe they'll throw in an Avenger over time. You know, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Wasps, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Storm, Wolverine. No. Two archers. Oh, thanks. You know, because cause shooter playstyle is so alien in gaming these days. that It's so refreshing. Emotes in the game, but no emote wheel. $12 finisher emotes. A fabrication machine for, for the patterns that we used to get from the missions before you nerfed it. That I was scared to use because it was eating my patterns like a vending machine. Repeating audio glitches, non-functional matchmaking, people getting their credits reset to zero. I could go on and on for hours, but hopefully you get the gist. It feels like everything is telling me to stop playing this game. And then the developers nerf the drops of the rewards at the high end. But more importantly, you nerf it before you implement important game-breaking fixes? I mean, it's September. It's September 2020. And Crystal Dynamics, y'all are making mistakes like you released this game in a, in a vacuum. It wasn't developed in a bubble. Look around you, the industry has learned from these mistakes that games as service, they've made before. Look at Anthem. And this subreddit is going the same way of Anthem too. It's crazy to me. You know, I'm not unreasonable either. I can understand the patterns being rewarded intended as a one-time reward. But the fact that you fixed it now, you know, the reality of you fixing it specifically because you want to slow people down, you know, and not just that, but you want to stop them from getting duplicate patterns, which pay out 250 credits and will uh, basically allow people to be rich. But what should the launch people do otherwise? What, what else do we have going on? You're nerfing the mission rewards that we can actually use to enhance our builds, which at the moment, we can't even, we can't even save to a loadout. When you yourself, Crystal Dynamics, have been er, stressing the importance of making builds to come at things from different situations, what the hell are we supposed to do? Because it feels like you want us to just stop playing. That's a good idea for your game, right? That's a good taste to leave in people when they're when they're stopping and logging off. If your answer is that we need to play longer hive missions, whoa, you celebrated this game as the type of thing where you can jump in and do a short mission and get rewards that are, you know, suited to how much you're willing to invest into this game. Not everybody got the amount of time to spend a whole day on this game like a streamer. And I've had teammates disappear, split into their own session. Enemies not spawn, doors not open, all day in these lengthy hives. Imagine, imagine actually stressing, because when we're going through the hive, we don't know if things will actually work on the next floor. Because if they don't, all of the time that we just invested is gone. The problem isn't with us, it's with you. Imagine having friends willing to tolerate you, trying to play this game, and when they get ejected, when they glitch, and they fall through the map. They're right to want to stop. I'm the crazy one. So back to solo play for me. Back to oops, died three times. Better restart the encounter. You know what I'm talking about? I can't wait to dodge four lasers and then catch eight consecutive missiles to the face. It's like some of these were, they were built for specifically Iron Man. He's the only one who can have that uh, shield, the overcharged shield to just pop at all times. Wow. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? You're pushing players away right now. That's what I have to say. That's my passionate, no disrespect, no malicious intent. Forgive the passion in my voice because this is like confusing to me and I've seen it happen before. I've seen it happen before. Y'all should know better. 
This is exactly what happened to Anthem. Crystal Dynamics, it has been six days since launch. I'm eager to see where you guys go from here.